Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, And double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. You know, say peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. You know, so um, I was just doing some, um, you know, looking on the internet. And actually, this is actually what I was looking for. Um, pretty much the aftermath of, uh, you know, Babylon the Great, which is ruled by Esau, Edom. You know, and ultimately what you see here is, you know, the before and after effects of, you know, taking over, you know, taking on, you know, the democracy of America, you know, because this is what Esau does. All right, Esau, you know, creates these, uh, these narratives, all right, uh, calls these other, you know, these other nations terrorists and all that stuff, creates the narratives so he can be justified into going into their nation, all right, taking over. And when he does that, all right, he brings his democracy with him, with him. And when you look on the right, you see the aftermath of that democracy, man. And like the scriptures say, you know, he's as death because wherever the so-called white man goes, all right, he destroys, man. And then also the scripture says that he is the son of perdition. Our perdition meaning destruction, man. You know? So like you see on the picture, you know, you got before USA and after USA. And you can see, you know, I ain't gonna lie. These were, uh, these cities were beautiful. All right? But then after Esau, or after the USA, you know, pretty much, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, like the book of Isaiah 14 say, um, uh, you know, he makes the world, he made the world a wilderness, all right? They like to drop bombs on these places, all right? So, you know what I'm saying? They've been dropping bombs on these places. And also, their democracy. So, here it is right here. It says Libya with Gaddafi, all right? And Libya with Amer American democracy. <clears throat> so, you can see that, you know, these cities were well intact, all right, before America came in. And now, look at them, after American democracy. So, we can clearly see that this man is as death. All right, wherever he goes, he brings destruction and death with him. <clears throat> he brings destruction and death with him. But this is Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse... Let me see if I can get it real quick. Verse 23. It says, How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? And broken? How is it, How is Babylon becoming desolation among the nations, man? All right, and Babylon is the hammer of the earth. You know, America. All right, because... Wherever America goes, you know, she destroys, you know, all under the guise of, you know, freedom, all under the guise of, you know, we're here to help you. But really, Esau, you know what I'm saying, he goes in, you know, to, to uh, you know, to complete his agenda. And then when he leaves, you know what I'm saying, he, he leaves nothing but destruction. And that's why the scripture says, you know, um, let me get down to Jeremiah real quick. He's just speaking about the so-called white man uh, being a thief. But, you know, I also want to make the point of, you know, him leaving nothing behind. This is Jeremiah 49 and 9. It says, If grape gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. All right? See, a thief, when a thief comes to steal, they would at least leave, they would, they would at least leave something for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? They, they at least leave something. All right? Just something. But Esau, you know, he takes and he destroys everything, man. All right? Either he takes everything or he destroys everything. That's what you see are in these cities, man. All right. He destroy he destroys them, man. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places. And he shall not be able to hide himself. His his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not. And it's ultimately coming out that Esau is the so called white man. This is the son of perdition for so long, which was a mystery. And now it's in the now it's in the light of who the wicked is, right? Um this is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 5. It says, verse 4, I'm going to start from there. It says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. And Esau's soul is not right, man. All right, this man can never have enough. All right, he got all the money in the world. You know what I'm saying? He got the power power of the earth in his hand, pursuant to Job 9 and 24, but still not satisfied. All right. It says, he, he's a covetous man, All right, which also the Lord hates. Yeah, also because he transgressive by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep it at home. All right. You know, alluding to, you know, the, those uh, those pictures. All right, Esau doesn't stay at home. He's always in somebody else's business, man. All right, always in somebody else's country. All right, doing who knows what. You know, who enlarges from his desire as hell 
and is as deaf, you know, and is as deaf because, you know, again, again, wherever the so-called white man goes, all right, he brings death with him, destruction with him. Again, him being the son of perdition and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long and to him that laid it himself with thick clay, you know, and, and you no, know, just like I said earlier, Esau, you know, creates these different narratives to go into these other countries, these nations and take man. All right. And when he takes, once again, he takes, he takes everything, man. All right. And and, and to, uh, so like at verse seven, shall they not rise up suddenly? That shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them, because thou hast spoiled many nations, and he and he has spoiled many nations, starting with the nation of Israel, right? Because thou hast, thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee, because of men's blood and for the violence of the land. Of the city and of all that door therein. All right, and, he, and he's so and he's um you know over the years dropped bombs over these different nations, man, and have killed a lot of people. You know, so this is the hammer of the earth. All right, this is that son of perdition. You know, and these other nations, they're gonna get their hands on you. But you no, know, in the kingdom, starting with the children of Israel, are right, we got a lot of work to do on you devils, man. All right, because the Lord is gonna reveal all right to to the to the Israelites. What you've been doing over the ages, man. So you're gonna be recompensed, all right, all the wickedness you have done, all right. And the nations, they're gonna get a piece of you, you know. Also, all right. So you devils, y'all got a, yeah, y'all got a bright future, all right. You know, speaking facetiously, y'all got a bright future to look forward to, all right. But really, you got a dark future to look forward to, man, because you're in this captivity. <clears throat> this is Psalms, chapter um, Salakia. Chapter 37 and verse 35, it says, I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Right. See, when Esau is in power, all right, what's he, what, what he's been doing in power is spreading his wickedness, man. All right. And what's come out of that? What's come out of his wickedness? You know, destruction, death. All right. These people out here bugging out. All right. Let's go to Malachi chapter 1 and verse 4. It says, and I'm going to get straight to the point. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. All right, the Edomites are the border of wickedness. Wherever they go, wickedness follows. All right, and what comes after wickedness? Destruction, man. You know, Um, this is... Let me get that real quick and um, just show that these Edomites are, are the wicked also in 1 Maccabees. This is Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died, and his servants bear rule everyone in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves, so that their sons after them many years and evils were multiplied in the earth. All right, showing you that Alexander the Great. All right, and those that came after him were Edomites, man. All right, it's telling you right there that evils are multiplied on the earth, you know, when they put crowns on themselves. All right, and that's nothing new under the sun. As we see today, all right, Esau's, Esau and rulership, him going to these different nations, you know, spreading his democracy, right? Women's lib, all right, his his, uh, his trendy agenda going on, all right? That's starting to, you know what I'm saying? These other nations have taken a hold of that, you know? That's why, it's, you know, I believe the scripture says that the nations, you know, have drunk over wine and the nations are mad, you know, and pretty much, all right, these other nations, all right, are going to are gonna come, are going to wake up and realize that, all right, taking hold of Babylon the Great was not the way to go, all right, and they're going to be mad, you know, but that was pretty much it, Lord willing, it was edifying, you know what, let me see if I can get that because I really want to read it, I really want to, I really want to read it. Um, Salakia. Yep, this is Revel, uh, Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. 
Therefore, the nations are mad. The nations have taken have, have taken hold of our democracy, and then after the democracy, you, are, you see how it left them are right, destroyed. All right, the men are effeminate. All right, the women are out of control. All right, pretty much what you see here in Babylon. All right, have have stretched out to these other nations, man. You know. So that was pretty much it. Um, Lord willing, it was edifying. I'm gonna end it off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, for and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Until the next time, I say Shalom.